What's up, y'all? This is Hussein Nasser from iGeometry, where we give you software engineering by example. And welcome to today's vlog. And uh, I'm here in Little Italy, San Diego Farmer's Market. So we're gonna go to uh, like a slightly quieter area where I can just discuss a few topics I'd like to talk about today. So let's just go ahead and go ahead here because we're gonna discuss a few simple nice topics today. So today's topic, uh, today's topic is gonna be about how do you learn a new technology, right? So when I say new technology, think about like uh, an operating system, Linux, Ubuntu, CentOS, Windows, right? It doesn't have to be like a language, programming language, or uh, maybe a certain software or database, MongoDB, or a web server technology. There are like a lot of technologies, and, and sometimes it becomes really overwhelming learning all of these. As a software engineer, you have to have at least you have to have at least some sort of uh, you know you have to have at least some sort of knowledge of these uh, topics, right? So, well, we so how can uh, we as a software engineer step out of our comfort zone and discuss things that we we don't know about or? Or do things that we 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 just heard about, right? So like new database or new programming language, right? So most of us engineers are really familiar with certain languages, right? Uh, well, when I started, I started with VB, Visual Basic, right? So that was like my experience language. So that was the first programming language I ever learned, Visual Basic Five, right? But I quickly grabbed the other languages. Right, so C Sharp, Java, Python, JavaScript, and even sometimes I wrote, uh, coded in Prolog at one point. Operating systems, Linux, Windows, Ubuntu. So how can we, as software engineers, grab these languages and or these technologies and start learning about it? Right. So this becomes really challenging, and and the way I found is best uh, approach to learn these new technologies is to actually not follow tutorials because that kind of like tutorials on these languages kind of give you no it's the sun yeah <laughs> so it's much better lighting so yeah tutorials on these languages give you or, or these technologies give you like the hello world of of, of uh, introduction which is okay i guess but it doesn't give you dive you deep into the technology as you want it to be right so what you want to to do is to actually practice with these languages right so so how do, how can one do that how can you practice a language so this is this is really or how you practice a technology is really interesting and i the 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 way I find it is the way I found most productive when I want to learn a technology is by actually practicing it in a project, in a small project. So how does that work? So, you know, in your daily walk or your daily job, right? Sometimes you find yourself want to build tools to help you do things that are routinely repetitive, right? So there are a lot of, of uh, kind of uh, topics or, or is technologies that are kind of repetitive. And you, do, you do this on a daily basis, like uh, a company website, right? Or you want to show certain things on a daily basis. You do something that on a daily basis that you can automate. So what I do is, I feel comfortable using uh, C Sharp to automate a certain technology, right? But uh, but what I do instead, I step in 
using a new technology all together, right? So I started using a new technology to, to automate something that helped me in work. So that's like kind of a, a mini project, right? So no, nobody knows about it. It's just you, it's like a helper tool that helps you do something. So you use a new technology to build that instead of comfortable uh, technology. So you, for example, the way I learned Linux is I deployed, I, I didn't know anything about Linux or Ubuntu, right? So I said, okay, I need a, like a, a small web server or a small, um, a small page or web page that explains about certain technology, right? Certain stuff that helped me in, in my daily work. So I said, okay, I can always build something on WCF and ASP.NET, but it says, no, I don't want to use Windows. Let me use Linux. So go ahead and I deployed Ubuntu. I deployed a web server. So I searched for Tomcat and I cranked a lot of problems. You know, you face a lot of problems when you try to implement certain things. And that will makes you learn a technology by actually implementing something by example, by doing something. That's why what I try to preach here in software engineering by example, is just do it in an example approach, right? So, and, and I find this approach really, really helpful in, in, in my career. So I hope, uh, I hope this uh, vlog was useful for you guys. Please subscribe to this uh, channel for more cool stuff, tutorials, and more cool stuff. See you in the next one. Goodbye.